This evening we've brought together partners from the academic community and industry. It's a powerful mix, a fusion with the potential for new, mutually beneficial interactions. In small countries like Ireland, universities can hold a pivotal position. So it's no exaggeration to say that Trinity contributes to the competitiveness of the whole country. In Trinity, we take this responsibility seriously. So our response to austerity was to get even more ambitious. And we're planning a new Engineering, Energy and Environment Institute, which we're calling E3. E3 will be an industry academic collaboration space and one of the first institutes internationally to integrate engineering, technology and the natural sciences at scale to address challenges of a livable planet. Every year, Ireland welcomes students from all over the world to study with us. They study alongside domestic students, they explore Ireland and the rest of Europe and immerse themselves in Irish culture, perhaps learning as much outside the classroom as inside. We wish to ensure students will return home with a lifelong relationship with Ireland and that their study abroad experience will be a transformative one. We founded a brand new company which we called Opsona, after Opsonization, of course, to keep the Trinity Link. We've raised $55 million so far, Opsona, amazingly, to develop new anti-inflammatory medicines. And our very first medicine, it's not now three at the moment, it's a different one, it's before that, is now in clinical trials for a kidney transplant and a type of leukemia called MDS, or myelodysplastic syndrome. And a big thrill for me was our ninth patient was given the drug last week for MDS. If you're a scientist, your number one joy is discovery, that's all. Just you want to discover brand new things, and that's quite satisfying if you discover a brand new thing. And in Trinity, many labs, every day almost, are discovering brand new bits of information. You know, nature is revealing some secret in all these labs. It's wonderful. You know, if you're a scientist, that's really what turns you on. But imagine if that discovery then makes a difference, and makes a difference to patients. I think that's the biggest thrill of all, especially for our, our students, our postdocs, and especially for me. As a professor um, of visual computing, my goal is to create rich, visual, virtual experiences for people. And not just to make them look good and entertain them, but also to have a, a deeper function, such as to educate, to entertain, as well as to engage people, um, and maybe even make a change to their quality of life in different types of interventions. One example, um, is a project called Verve. It was a European project that I was a coordinator on. And what we did was we, we got a group of, of researchers from across Europe together to develop graphics and VR technologies and serious games to help uh, work as an intervention in the treatment of conditions such as Alzheimer's. My question is, why do some people grow older but remain fit and active and independent? whilst others grow older but they become more frail, they develop those chronic diseases of ageing. Why is this? is this? Is this just a random process? Is this something that's maybe uh, enshrined in our genes? Is this something, in a sense, maybe it's related to something like the choices we make, the behaviours we adopt, maybe it's about not smoking, having a good diet, maybe, and getting some exercise. The good news is that we have the data and we have the information to be able to study these processes now. So, for instance, my day job is looking after a longitudinal study of children called Growing Up in Ireland. And Growing Up in Ireland follows around about 20,000 Irish children through time from the age of nine months of age. And it's really exciting. We have fabulous data that we can follow these children with. I presented actually at the European, um, in behalf of the European Research Council at the World Economic Forum two years ago, and I heard a lot about what are the grand challenges in the world, what are the, the grand challenges that we are, uh, we are facing. Of course, trying to, to provide potable water, for example, or food supplies for the always growing population in the world, energy, of course, storage and harvesting is one key issue. And I hope 
uh, my research is making an impact on this and will, will allow us to have uh, at least to maintain our needs uh, of electricity demand beyond oil exhaustion. The rejection of traditional modes of learning and of independent critical reading, which we've all experienced in our younger generations, has also been reinforced by the concurrent emergence of alternative modes of interactive engagement, of data absorption, of acquired conviction, through largely the internet. We call on our friends in education, in IT, and in the world of commercial learning, and we made the MOOC. We made Trinity's first massive online open course entitled Irish Lives in War and Revolution between 1912 and 1923, based on the conviction that history is there not to be taught, nor to be learned, nor, above all, passively to be absorbed, but actively to be interrogated, to be remade. Our MOOC demanded that its participants take the fight against history. Trinity is a, a wonderful university. It's a really old historic Irish university but also reaches out to the world and is engaging in what's going on in the world now. Trinity really is making a big difference. University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, a very good partner of Trinity. We have been sending students to Ireland for many, many years. We uh, send probably about 300 students a year there. Uh, and our partnership with Trinity has been one of the core elements of our study abroad program. The high quality of research at, at Trinity and to get a sense of its breadth was really quite exciting. I also like the theme that I heard repeated tonight because it's one I firmly believe in. That a great research university is great not only because of its research but because of its teaching. I think it was an excellent event. I think Trinity College shows are on the right track for interdisciplinary integrated research in great science. They have, we had historians up here, we had microbiologists, we had physicists, and it really forefront research that I think is uh, positioning not only Trinity, but the island of Ireland to a really good place worldwide for education.